All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up and disassemble this ASUS model GL502V. All right, the full model number is GL502VS WS71. All right, we're gonna be using a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver and we're gonna remove all the screws from the bottom. All right, our main purpose for taking this thing apart is to replace the battery. It's actually bulging out quite a bit. So the customer actually got a replacement battery. We'll see how it goes. The battery is a little bit light, I feel. So I kind of feel like it's not gonna to be too good, but uh, should be better than this messed up one. So yeah, all right. So we got these at the back here towards the hinge, four screws, they're pretty long. All right, let's see if all the screws are good. If I didn't already mention it, you wanna keep all the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and length. And the way I do that, if this screw will come out and I can show you, um, I put it flat side down like this on my desk in the pattern I remove them. Uh, so far all the screws appear to be the same length, but I'm assuming the ones up here are gonna be shorter, okay? All right, this laptop is likely gonna pop itself open once I get all the screws out. That's how bad this, badly inflated this battery is. All right, but we'll see. Okay, yep, this corner screw is much shorter. Um, these two screws might be the same length, let's see. Okay, yeah, the, the thing is definitely gonna pop apart on its own. So I'm sorry, but I won't be able to show you how to pop the bottom cover off on this. Well, I guess I can show you once I put the new battery in. Um, we'll see, but uh, definitely the front of the laptop is opening itself up just from me unscrewing the battery or the, the screws. Jeez, this thing is like, whoa, it just popped open completely now. All right, so once I get this out, it's probably gonna completely pop open, at least on the front edge. Yep. All right, so these two corner screws are shorter than the rest, but it's always a good idea to keep them all in order. Okay, as you can see, this thing kind of just popped itself open. And if I flip this over, you can see how bad this battery is. Wow, that's pretty bad. Look at that. You can actually see the exposed lithium ion or lithium polymer battery packs. Okay, um, next thing we're gonna do, where's, oh, the connector's under a piece of tape. We're gonna take the battery out, of course. Again, keeping all the screws in order. If this video helps you out, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, anyways, I'm gonna continue removing all these. I do need to clean it out. It's very dusty inside, so I'm gonna do that as well. Um, okay, I guess it just has the four screws up there. We are gonna have to peel this tape out. Make sure that if you are gonna be messing with this don't use little metal tools to try and pry the battery out you don't want to short something and then have a fire or just destroy your whole computer all right all right once we got this tape out of the way we're just gonna pop this up i just use my fingernail and just pull it straight up okay just like that and sometimes it helps to do both sides but there you go sometimes it helps to do both sides at the same time all right, anyways, now that we got the battery screws out and that disconnected, we can lift it at an angle like this and then pop this out. Battery model number is uh, C4, so it's right here. C4, because it's a bomb. C41N1531, you see it? C41N1531. All right, so that's the battery model number. I'm gonna set the battery aside now. This thing is very dusty and dirty inside, so I'm gonna clean that up real quick before I continue and then um, I'll go over what I see inside here so I can tell you guys the parts but this is the replacement battery actually the replacement battery isn't that much lighter than the original so maybe it's just the design is like there's a bunch of plastic that does nothing okay anyways I'll be back I'm gonna clean this up <clears throat> all right so I'm back here you can see much cleaner you don't have all the dust layered on these things the inside of here is also a lot cleaner Okay, so we're gonna set the cover aside again. If you're wondering, I'm not gonna be pulling out all the connections. If you wanna see how to do that, I do make a lot of these types of videos and all the connections are basically the same. So if you watch several of my videos, you should be able to figure it out if you don't know. This is the keyboard connector. This one, you flip this latch up, this white part or cream, whatever color, then you can pull this back. 
There's the keyboard backlight connector here. Same thing. This one has, I'll show you one. Like you can see you flip that latch. And then after that, you can pull this connector out. Sometimes you have to lift it slightly up to pull it out. Then you got the trackpad or touchpad cable here. You got this cable um, connecting to the uh, front. These, uh, what are those? Are those lights? I don't know. I don't see any lights on it. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, okay, it is for the LEDs. Okay, um, then of course we have the RAM here. So you pull these two tabs to the side, pops up slightly, and you can see it's PC4 2400T. You should be able to use any PC4 2400T. So if you want, you can get two 16 gigs, you can get two, um, you can get 32 gigs or whatever, if they have. I don't think they have two 32 gigs, but um, yeah. All right, I need to get my little uh, hand-powered air blower thing. I'll be back. I'm back, so I got the hand-powered air blower thing. I just want to make sure because when I pull the RAM out, sometimes I see like bits of dust that were underneath that I didn't get out with the other thing. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and we'll just put these back in. Again, they go at an angle. And then I like to kind of wiggle it while I'm pulling it in and then click it down or pushing it in, whatever you want to call it. What I do is I like squeeze both sides like that and then get that in. All right, GPU and CPU are soldered to the motherboard. A lot of people like to ask where the GPU is. This is the GPU. This is the CPU. You can't do anything with it. So if you're asking, I don't know what you plan to do with it, poke it or stab it or something, I don't know. But um, there you go. All right, and let's see what else we got here. We got the BIOS CMOS RTC real-time clock battery right here. Okay, this connector, you kind of just grab it, wiggle it, and pull it back. The white part, make sure you don't pull on the cream thing that's connected to the board. All right, you got the LCD LVDS connector here. If you're gonna mess with this, make sure that you disconnect the, ba the main battery and then open the computer and press and hold the power button for 15 seconds or longer before messing with this. This kind of connector has this little tab thing here that you can grab and then wiggle and pull it up. I'm not gonna mess with that because the main thing we needed to do was just replace the battery on here. Um, it looks like they put some adhesive with this plastic on top. I'm not sure why it's not really covering anything. All right, all these ports, the charge port, everything, DC jack is soldered to the board. You have the fan connector right here and another fan connector right there. You got an M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD right there. One screw, it pops up like the RAM. You can pull it out from the slot. There is also a two and a half inch SATA hard drive right here that you can actually upgrade to a 2.5 inch SATA SSD if you wanted. Four screws holding this tray in, then you can pull it back to disconnect it from there. And then there's four screws holding it to this metal tray that you need to transfer over to the new drive. All right, speaker connectors here. Cable runs along to the bottom of the other, to the speaker. And then it runs, oops, sorry, runs along all the way here to the other. So basically both speakers are connected to the same spot. Um, I don't see screws holding this down, but are there? I don't see anything holding these speakers down. Okay, there's like clips. Oops, sorry, I'm going out of view. There's like clips and stuff holding the speakers down. There's one clip here and probably some clip up here somewhere, but I don't see it. Anyways, um, we don't need to worry about that. We're not messing with those things. So I think that's about it. Oh, I didn't mention the wireless card here. Um, somebody's probably gonna ask the model number. Let me see if I can see it from here. Here you can see it's like eight two. I'm too blind to read that from here. There you go. Eight, two, six, zero NGW or something. All right. And the wireless antennas, if you try and remove them, you want to make sure to pull up from the tail end. Don't try and pry it up from the front. If you don't know how to do that again, I have other videos showing that. So yeah, you can watch a bunch of my other videos. Okay. Anyways, we're going to zoom out. We're just going to put the new battery in. Um, this is meant to be a quick and simple repair. To do this, you go in and at an angle like this, slide it in because there are these little feet that kind of stick out. You want to slide those in. Okay, make sure it goes on top of that screw thing or you won't be able to do it, of course. And then kind of push this down and we just drop it into place. Okay, you can kind of see it kind of fits a little funky. I mean, that's because this is like a cheap replacement or something. But uh, yeah, let's get this thing out of the way. All right, this cable is a little bit long, so we're gonna have to see how we can fit that into place. Anyways, let's go ahead and get the screws in first. Again, we had four screws that we took out, one up here. Okay, one down here. All right, and 
this one, of course, and the last one over here. All right, the other cable I think was shorter. Like, yeah, or, or we just have to bend it weird. So I guess we'll try and bend it weird and see what we can do. So we're gonna kind of fold it up. Let me see if I can zoom in to show you guys this better. Okay, so the connector's down there, but as you can see, it's like way longer. So we're gonna kind of bend this and then I kind of like push that as much as possible and then we'll rotate this and see if we can get it. Looks like we can, it's kind of a pain. These little holes here in the connector need to line up with the little raised bits underneath, so make sure you can pull it that far. I'm gonna turn this around so I can have a better view for myself because the other way, it's too far. Okay, let's see if this will work, if I can see it. Okay. And yeah, I don't know, there's too much slack on this. It's like sticking out too much. But there we go, I lined it up and pushed it in. And there we go, battery is connected. Okay, and then we just put the tape on top. Again, I don't know why they have this tape here. Let's zoom out. And let's get the bottom cover on again. Okay, so again, I didn't show how to pull the cover off, but uh, let me see, I'll put it back on and then I'll pop it back off just to show you. Um, basically the cover just goes on top. You should be able to just click everything in. All right, very nice and easy. Okay, so normally what you would do, you can see the little seam there. So what I would do is I would face it away from myself so that the bottom is facing me, get my fingernails in this gap here, and then I would use my thumb to push here and pop it out there just like this. You can see it kind of popped out easily and I think that might be because the battery was inflated, but if you get pry tools or your fingernails in there, you can see we lift it up and created a gap. And then you basically just work your way all the way around. Okay, just get in the gap. Okay, uh, where'd it go? Get in the gap there. Okay, and same thing, just keep kind of prying it open. Okay, I cut my nails a little shorter so it's a little more difficult. But uh, once you get the sides on the front out, okay, then you should be able to kind of lift this up and kind of wiggle it, and there we go. All right, that's how you would have removed it. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and pop this all back together, power it up, make sure everything's working, and that should be all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Again, if it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Other than that, <clears throat> you're welcome to stay until and get all the screws in. We're gonna see if it turns on. I don't know if it requires the charger to power back on. The customer just brought me the laptop. I don't have the charger, so I won't be able to test that if it doesn't turn on. Um, but yeah, other than that, let's get all these screws back in. Okay, pretty straightforward. Again, the two where the laptop opens are shorter than all the rest. Um, but again, it's always a good idea to keep all the screws in order and not mix them up because sometimes there are slight differences you don't notice. And even if they look exactly the same, you can sometimes cause damage to computers or other things, depending on where the screws came from. All right, so there we go. Probably should have done a better, like, picture of the inside for the thumbnail. I think I was too busy working on it quick that I didn't get one where it was, like, zoomed out perfectly. But uh, we'll see. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Let's flip this thing over, see if it powers up, and we're good to go. All right, flip this over, okay, and we'll see if it powers up. And I saw the power light, it just flashed once. Is it gonna turn on? Okay, it's turning on. Hopefully you can see that light. Solid red. Sometimes when you disconnect the batteries, it does like some weird BIOS reset thing too. So I don't know, cause this one did have a separate BIOS battery. This is very dusty. Okay, it's powering up now, as you can see. I was a little bit worried that um, sometimes when you pull the RAM out, you need to reseat it and it, it doesn't go in right the first time. But it uh, looks like it's good, okay. Good to go. Let's go ahead and blow the dust out. Oh, it's probably going to show their usernames. So let me move that out of the way. 
Oh, actually, it just shows the date and time, which is fine. 4.40, Sunday, July 17th. All right, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this. Bye.